utility crews about a week to fix a busted water main on the city's east side. It happened on East Mason and Bader Streets near East Town Mall just before 8 o'clock this morning. The broken pipe caused a section of Mason Street to break. Utility crews say about a million gallons of water was wasted. NBC 26's Brian Miller joins us in the newsroom with our big story at 6. Yes, thank you, Cassandra. Now, crews are still working on fixing that busted pipe at this hour, and those who live nearby it were without water this morning as crews rushed to fix it. Now, a leak that was so bad, it busted through the street and made it a complete nightmare for cars trying to navigate the detours. That was, that was something to see. It really was. It was a sight Jay Many won't soon forget. A broken water main busting through concrete flooding nearby streets. There's a lot of stalled cars. I've never seen anything like that before. So, you know, I've been here 30 years and never witnessed anything like that. At first, many could only hear what was going on. I heard it and I didn't know what the heck it was. I just heard some really unusual noises like bubbling and gurgling and a bunch of cars honking their horn. Well, police are urging people to avoid the area if possible and always respect the road close signs. These signs will stay up until this stretch of Mason is completely fixed. Utility crews aren't sure how the 36-inch main busted. And they say while it was not related to the weather, it could be due to the age of the pipe. Close to 60 years old. We certainly expect them to last longer than that, but it's um, sometimes they, uh, they fail. The water utility manager says they'll be testing water samples to make sure the water is safe. As a precaution, they're asking residents who live east of Dan's and Bader Streets in the Green Bay city limits to boil their water before drinking it. Could be a while before this area is back to business as usual. Now, the results of that water testing should be available by Tuesday. Meanwhile, it could take up to a week or more before all the repairs are complete. Live in the Green Bay newsroom, Brian Miller, NBC 26.